the stars began to twinkle, brothers James and Jason snuggled into their cozy beds, ready for a bedtime story. James reached up to the highest shelf and pulled down a special book they had never seen before. As James opened the pages, the room started to shimmer with magic. As they began to read, the room felt magical, as if they were about to go on an incredible journey. First, they arrived in the icy lands of Antarctica, home to the penguins. Can you feel the cold air? Let's snuggle up and keep warm. They saw a brave penguin standing in the cold, keeping his egg warm and safe. Can you imagine how cozy the penguin's hug is? Let's pretend we're the warm egg and give ourselves a little hug. James and Jason watched the penguins waddle around. Suddenly, a big hot air balloon arrived to take them on their journey. They waved goodbye to the penguins as they went up, up, up into the sky. They floated high above the world until they found themselves in Australia, home of the koalas. They saw a daddy koala cuddling his baby high up in a eucalyptus tree. Can you imagine the softness of their fur? Let's pretend we're koalas and give ourselves a big, warm hug. James and Jason watched the koalas munch on eucalyptus leaves. Suddenly, a big wave appeared, ready to take them on their next adventure. The wave carried them across the ocean until they arrived in the warm waters of the Pacific, home to the playful dolphins. They saw a daddy dolphin teaching his baby how to jump and play. Can you imagine leaping out of the water like a dolphin? Let's pretend to be dolphins and jump high into the air. James and Jason watched the dolphins play. When it was time to go, a magical turtle appeared to take them on their next adventure. The turtle swam gracefully, carrying them to the Galapagos Islands, home of the giant tortoises. They saw a daddy tortoise slowly moving along, his baby following close behind. Can you imagine being so slow and steady? Let's pretend to be tortoises and take slow, careful steps. James and Jason watched the tortoises. Suddenly, a gentle breeze carried a magical cloud down to take them on their next journey. The cloud floated gently until they found themselves in the bamboo forests of China, home to the giant pandas. They saw a daddy panda cuddling his cub, munching on bamboo leaves. Can you imagine the crunch of the bamboo? Let's pretend to be pandas and munch on some bamboo. James and Jason watched the pandas eat and play. When it was time to go, a beautiful peacock arrived to take them on their next adventure. The peacock spread his magnificent feathers and carried them to India, where they found more beautiful peacocks. They saw a daddy peacock proudly displaying his feathers to his family. Can you imagine having such colorful feathers? Let's pretend to be peacocks and show off our beautiful feathers. James and Jason watched the peacocks. Suddenly, a magical firefly appeared to light their way to the next adventure. The firefly led them to a meadow filled with glowing fireflies. They saw a daddy firefly lighting up the night for his little ones. Can you imagine glowing in the dark? Let's pretend to be fireflies and light up the night. James and Jason watched the fireflies dance in the air. When it was time to go, a magical boat appeared on a nearby river to take them on their next adventure. The boat carried them to a riverbank, home to a family of busy beavers. Can you hear the sound of the flowing water? They saw a daddy beaver building a dam with his little ones. Can you imagine being such a great builder? Let's pretend to be beavers and build something amazing. James and Jason watched the beavers work together. When it was time to go, a magical dragonfly appeared to take them to their next destination. 
Can you imagine flying like a dragonfly? Let's pretend to be dragonflies and hover above the water. James and Jason watched the dragonflies. When it was time to go, a giant bubble appeared to take them on their final adventure. The bubble rose higher and higher until they found themselves among the stars. They gazed down at the earth. Can you hear the whispers of the stars guiding us back? As James and Jason closed the magical book, they were suddenly safely back in their cozy bedroom. James yawned and gently closed his eyes while Jason snuggled into his pillow. Now, it's time for you to close your eyes and dream of all the incredible animal families in the world, including your own. Can you feel the softness of your pillow and the warmth of your blanket? Good night, James and Jason. Good night, buddies. <laughs>